Hey everybody, before you continue watching the video, make sure you give the channel a like and subscribe. Go and follow us on um, Instagram. Go and check out all the different social media um, scenarios. Make sure if you're enjoying the content, go there, like, subscribe, follow, so we can keep putting stuff out. If you've got any questions, leave a comment. All right, make a comment on either of our pages and we'll answer them as soon as we can. Not other sports or anybody like okay if the kid has a problem if the kid uh, and that's what you have to do another relationship with the instructor and the, the student like we are based martial arts are based in the old story of the master and the, the disciple right yeah the disciple find the master yeah and the master chose to see that's the right disciple so one master one disciple that's where it comes from and then you become the master and then another disciple comes and stuff but because um, of course, it's not more one in one. Now it's lots of disciples. So you have to see who are the real ones. You also have to analyze. Some people have problems. You know, some people have problem in coordination or they're timid or they are too aggressive or this or that. So we put you in your place and you, like, let's say the guy, I had a very good story of a kid here when I had a gym in Bondi some years ago before before move. And uh, a father came with a kid and said, oh, Paulo, maybe the kid was about seven Seven, eight. I said, oh, my, my, my kid. I want to start my kid in jiu-jitsu because he has a problem. There's a bully kid in school, and he's always bullying him. And uh, no, like, can push him and grab him and do these things and take his stuff. And I said, okay, we need to train. No problem. I knew the problem with the kid, so I was very timid already, a bit scared. And we start to build up his confidence and start to train with the others, and he's losing up. And um, about I don't know, two, three months after, he came. He was coming two, three times a week. This kid to the to the to train. And about two months after, maybe three months, he came with another kid, a friend. I said, okay, come in. And then the father came to me. Hey, Paul, come here. What's up, man? Uh, this is the bully. I said, what? You bring the bully here? But your kid's not afraid of you. No, no, my kid got so confident that the bully came to bully one day and he just stand up for the bully. And then that's it. The bully didn't bully anymore. Now the bully wants to be his friend and want to learn what he learned so the bully cannot <laughs> be bullied by the others who are kids. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect. So the perfect story. And the bully came, became his friend, you know, and, became, and also the bully attitude disappeared because now he saw that all the kids could be tougher than him. So he started training and wasn't too nice kids. So that's the thing. Like you have to be exposed to your problems sometimes and you have to see what the, stu the student is doing. Like say that guy who hurts everyone, you're going to talk to him, man, don't hurt everyone. Don't hurt everyone. Don't squash the white belt. So one day, what are you going to do? You're going to bash him a little bit. You know, they're going to give him what he, he's giving to the audience. I do like it. Oh, no, I don't like it. Exactly. So if you don't like it, don't do it to the others. You know? Because they are here to learn. They are here, like, like to, to have fun. Not that guy, the guy like you and is questioning everyone. Or the guy, I had another girl uh, here. She's about nine now. She came two years ago training. And she was very shy. Very like those guys like this. You know, his, her father came to me and said, look, Paul, she, you know, she's very timid. Then in school and stuff, she doesn't. Now the girl comes in the gym. First thing she comes, she comes jumping around and smiling, jumping. I said, how was in school? Everybody's their friend. So you change because you change your attitude. And maybe the parents sometimes don't do it. The parents just protect the kid. Oh, they're afraid. And let's 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 move him from to another school. And to another school doesn't doesn't work. You have to face the problem. So uh, jujitsu helps a lot. But all the coaches, all the all the all the things can help you. Just the attitude, not like. Always, oh, oh, champ, oh, these, oh, don't do it, don't do it, don't, don't, don't touch him, don't push him. You have to defend yourself because I always say to the people in the, in the, when they come in the match, nobody gonna help you here, just you, not your father, not your mother, not your brother, not your, not your gun. Your gun is outside. <laughs> if you have a gun, nothing gonna help you here. You have to save yourself, or you tap, tap, tap until you get better, and everybody gets better. That's another, another message. Everybody gets better. There's nobody that doesn't learn, like. Whatever you have problems like coordination or strength or flexibility, you get better because everybody gets up like belts. Like everybody, you know, grows up, you cannot stop it. So that's why we learn, we learn and we teach them. And they have to keep this tradition. You cannot be a business owner. You cannot be that guy who comes and pay the money and do his workout and go. For this, there's fitness gyms. You know? 
go there. You want to just work out? You go there. Oh, but but I just want to lose some weight and do jujitsu. Okay, very good. You come to you lose some weight or you put some weight on or whatever you like, but you're going to learn other things uh, parallel to that. You're going to learn respect, discipline, uh, attitude, self-confidence, focus, all these things that is natural. People think, oh, I have to. No, you don't have to. It will, it will happen to you. Like if you go to the water every day, you're going to learn to swim or you're going to die. But normally you learn to swim, learn to float, you know, and you are safe. It's a good point. Yeah, you definitely learn a lot of different things about your character by default. It's not even your choice. It just happens. Yeah, it's a good point. I was, I was, these days I bought these, these days or three days ago, I bought uh, the Hickson book, Brief, this last yes. one. I read, did you like it, Paul? Really good, eh? I like a lot. And he talks about this, you know, when he, he talks about like his levels, when he touch the guy, when you shake the guy's hand, he feels what the guy does. And when you're on the mats, you cannot escape like we were talking before. I cannot escape. You're going to be afraid. You're going to be scared. You're going to be this and that. But you work on those things until you get better, until you pass it. You know, you see, oh, that guy is tough. But when some tough guy dash, is squashing, he, he starts to scare, get scared because not used to the situation. Okay, now he gets used to the situation and get better. So it's Man, we martial arts in general like are very good for you. Like Karate Kid, you're watching TV. Every kid loves, you know, Kung Fu Panda. You know, all the story of the the growth of the person, the, the improvement of the guy, the fat panda now is the, the dragon master, whatever he is. <laughs> Strongest warrior. <Yeah. laughs> Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and a follow. Check out all our different social media platforms. There's heaps of content coming out. There's different snippets and content on different on different platforms. So make sure you're on everything. And again, if it helped you out, recommend to somebody else and hopefully it'll help them out too.